All right, welcome back. We're turning attention to politics now. Well, yeah, it's an election year. Well, this morning we've got uh, Mr. Sheikh Mushomi, who is the spokesperson of Atiku campaign. He joins us in our studio in Lagos. Thank you for coming on this morning. Happy New Year, guys. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Yeah, to you. And in Abuja, we've got uh, Mr. Hamza Bugaje. He's a founding member of APC and also a member of the NCAN. That's the group that bought the form for the president. Thank you for joining us as well today on the program. All right, I'm going to start in Lagos. Happy New Year. Thank you. Uh, uh, let me start from uh, Mr. Shomi here. The president, while well, he gave his uh, New Year message, the PDP poo-pooed it. But you know, the thing about that is that uh, the PDP actually spoke even two days before the time on Sunday, and it was going to give the speech on Tuesday. The PDP said it was going to be filled with empty and fake promises. But it's a New Year message, not a campaign message, because if they listened to and read the submissions of the PDP, it appeared as though they expected him to highlight his achievements. Was that the case? Well, I think that um, there is a pattern to the way the president speaks. This particular president, he seems to be so determined to be uninspiring. When you're going into an election year and you have just but a couple of days before you run into that election and there's an opportunity to send a message to the country, perhaps it's not out of place for people to hope to hear something that they can take with them and latch on to it before we get into the medley of he said, I said, that goes into actual campaign. So maybe the PD, we believe that it's a missed opportunity. Um, leaders don't just speak. Leaders speak for a purpose. Leaders speak to deliver a message. And the message of a leader must be in consonant with the situation that the country is in. So perhaps, of course, I'm not disappointed. Every time His Excellency, the President of Nigeria, has chosen to speak, he has either falling flat on inspiration, or he has put the country, or he had just put in a lot of words that didn't really connect. And so the PDP is right to say that, look, we would have expected you to speak to job creation. We would have expected you to talk about referendum. We would have expected you to put a bit of power in the speech. Referendum, and that's your agenda to restructure. You've always been pushing. A referendum, every election where the ruling party is presenting itself, presents a mini referendum for that party on its mm. own promises. Okay, so given the fact that it's an election year, yes. he says there will be his guaranteeing, underscoring and restating his commitment to free, fair and credible elections. What's wrong with that? It's not his to guarantee. That's where the problem is. They don't really think through what they're trying to say. The statutory responsibility of determining and declaring a free, fair and transparent election rests with INEC. It's an independent organization. That's INEC's duty. All he can guarantee is a lack of meddlesomeness and a lack of usage of the security organization in an annoying manner. And made worse was that he lost an opportunity to deepen the democratic process by signing that electoral act that was presented before him, which could have been a clear forward-loading demonstration of his determination to deliver a free fair or whatever role he wants to play there. But unfortunately, he also bungled that. So to come to public space on New Year there and say, I guarantee free fair, are you INEC? Is it your responsibility to organize the election? Are you not standing for the same election like everybody else? It's an overstretching of the imagination of what the role of the executive is in an election that is obviously in the hands of a statutorily independent organization by law. Well, we've got the APC rep as well. So he... Uh, let's get his response. Mr. Hamza, do you agree with this point? Do you think the president missed the point when he said that? Well, unfortunately, uh, it appears uh, as if the PDP is in a desperate uh, state at the moment. Uh, they seem to be turning things upside down in a bid to score a political point out of whatever action or statement you know, that comes from, from the president. I'm a bit baffled by the fact that uh, my uh, co-panelist in Lagos is saying that the speech or the statement by the president uh, is, is uninspiring. What's insp uninspiring about saying that um, elections uh, will, will be free and fair? What's uninspiring about saying that uh, some progress has been made? Now, when, 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 when you talk of making elections free, fair, and credible, from the president's point of view, he's simply saying, okay, as a responsible leader, I'm not going to interfere in what INEC will do. 
I'm not going to make um, bad use of the security agencies. We're not going to engage in uh, vote buying. We're not going to engage in desperate acts, which we witnessed under the PDP administration. When they opened the floodgates, you know, the financial floodgates of, 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 of the federal government, you know, in order to buy the, the 2015 election, which, which they failed. So I don't see any wrong tone, you know, coming from the president. Unfortunately, they seem to be turning issues upside down simply because they, they want to win the 2019 election. I would suggest that they concentrate, you know, on more concrete issues yeah, but, rather but, than distorting but Sam, so if, rather if I than could just ask you, facts. Let me follow up on what you said. I mean, when you say that the president uh, says he was not going to interfere, he was not going to no, use no, security. What I mean, what yeah. I mean, what I mean, he took a state manly position by saying what he said. And it could be interpreted to mean, okay, I'm not going to interfere with what INEC is doing because this is one but sure way let me of put in ensuring the question. that elections are free and fair. Remember in 2007, I, okay. in the build up of, to the 2007 elections, the former president, Olusogun Obasanjo, said this election is a matter of do or die for our party, the PDP. Mr. Hamza, we're well, looking at the immediate. Let, let, me, let me ask you this concerning the, the president's comments. President Buhari has done now. J just hang on a minute. When uh, you say I'm, he I'm, took I'm, a statemanly approach, um, isn't it what he's supposed to do? Because if he says he wasn't going to interfere, he wasn't going to interfere with INEC or security, has he said anything out of the ordinary? It's not his responsibility to interfere in the first place. So if the PDP is saying, look, that's, his pro that's what he's supposed to do in the first instance. So, if they say then that, look, no big deal about him saying that. Look, let me tell you, leadership is an art. You have to lead in your actions. You have to lead by your words. Now, the fact that he has come to reassure the public that he is committed to free and fair elections should be accorded the proper value it deserves. Because in the past, we have seen reckless, irresponsible statements coming from people that are supposed to be leading this country to the contrary, saying things to the contrary. So we should highlight what he has said in comparison with what has happened in the past. It's a deviation. So I think it's a necessary statement to reassure the public. To reassure the public. What's wrong in that?